tried to condense the answer to this question to one sentence my entire career. This is the best I can do. A cuddle therapist is someone who provides access to platonic touch through boundaries and consent education for the purposes of validating and enriching your humanity and your experience. The bummer about that is like it actually doesn't begin to cover all the things that I do. But let me break it out section by section so you understand why I say that. I say provide access to touch because there's many cases where we don't ever touch as a client and practitioner, but the access is what's important. I say platonic touch because we're not working in the realm of sexual intimacy. I include boundaries and consent education because even if it's not formal in the South Shine, it has to be present because otherwise touch is categorically unsafe. I say enhance your experience and validate your humanity because I don't believe that you are fundamentally broken. I don't believe that there is a cure-all or a fix and there is a resource. Like and follow for more. Thank you for asking. If you send me a DM with your email address, I can email you about sending up a free consultation. Also, in my Beacons link in my bio, there is a link to my website where you can request me or places like Cuddleist.com you can request to book a session. Thank you again for asking. This is hard to answer because there are so many things that I do with clients that we can do in session. I also want to be very clear, I am not a licensed counselor. So while we do talk, they can share the burdens of their life or the issues that they're dealing with. I can empathetically listen. I can hold them in unconditional positive regard. And we can talk about that, but I'm offering support from a listening ear and not from a clinician's perspective in that realm. We cuddle. We go on walks to the beach. We can dance. I have a lot of embodiment exercises if someone wants to work on growth or personal development and how to incorporate that in the sensations in their body. Um, so those are embodiment exercises. We can, we can watch a movie. We can read a book together. I can read a book out loud to a client. We can listen to a playlist that they've curated. We can play a jigsaw puzzle or a game together. There are so many things that we can do together. I'm curious if there's something else that you would want to do with your cuddle therapist. So comment that in the comment section. Uh, and thank you. Right? Virtual cuddles. That's weird. But it's actually a thing. I know a lot of exercises that will do similar things in our body that cuddling does. We can eye gaze, which utilizes breath work to lower heart rate. We can take turns doing something called mirror touch, which activates the indirect pleasure sensors of our brain and produces oxytocin. We can do something called deep listening, where I use empathetic listening skills and you share what's going on with you. We can get silly and make up different dance moves or I can lead you in a guided meditation. They're not the same thing as an in-person session. That's very true. But I have had wonderful, memorable moments and they are definitely a good thing to tide you over until we can have an in-person session again. There's a couple of really important factors around this question. One, we have to have the opportunity to veto a topic of discussion if it makes either of us uncomfortable. So when you say that they need to talk about it, I have to be able to say, if I'm uncomfortable, we're gonna stop. So that has to be a reciprocal moment. Um, if what we're doing, the physical activity of what we're doing is very platonic and they are discussing it because it's a part of who they are as a person, it's a part of their life, they are a whole person. I have no problem with that personally. Um, if they are talking about elements of their sexuality or experiences with their relationships and partners because it's like titillating, because it help, it makes them feel aroused in the session to talk about it, it's like, like a flirtation almost or a taboo, then no, I'm, I'm typically uncomfortable because they're bringing that energy into the session as opposed to discussing a topic because they're human. I hope that helps.